Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video and hang out with me for a little while. I hope you guys are doing really well. So today's video is going to be kind of a fun one, at least I hope so, I'm excited to film it. But today I'm chatting about five different gimmicky makeup products. And these aren't necessarily like your typical gimmicky products like you might see on Instagram, on like the Explore page, or in a Facebook ad. They're actually products from some of like the popular well-known brands that you find at Sephora or Ulta, but they kind of made me like a double take when I heard about them and I honestly like kind of wrote them off before I actually tried them and fell in love with them and now they are staples in my makeup collection. Make sure you guys leave me a comment below though letting me know if you've tried any makeup products that you thought were going to be gimmicks but you kind of fell in love with them or if you tried products that were kind of like gimmicky makeup products and you hated them let us know as well so we can be sure to avoid them and let's jump into it. So the first product that I want to talk about is something that's kind of come up on my channel a lot during the month of March and it is the Smash Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I kind of thought about this product first for this video because a lot of times when I mention it on my channel, I kind of talk about how I thought it was a gimmicky product until I tried it and it became a staple in my collection. And I will say that the primer water was not always a staple. Like, it took me a little while to get on board with this product and I wasn't convinced that I needed it until I got probably about halfway through my first bottle. And then I realized I honestly used it so often. And when I did use it, it made a difference in my makeup routine. I think the thing about this product is when you look at it, it's called a primer water. So you kind of think that you're paying for a bottle of expensive water. And it's kind of hard to get on board with that just because, you know, you think that you could fill up a spray bottle and it would do the same thing. But there's something about this product that honestly primes your skin. It makes it look really smooth and moisturized and the rest of your makeup goes on flawlessly. I totally enjoy this product. I thought it was a gimmick, but it has become a staple in my makeup collection. The next product that I want to talk about is a staple in my makeup routine and I'm sure if you guys have been around for a while you've heard me mention it before but it is the Urban Decay Velvetizer Translucent Mix-In Medium and I totally thought this was going to be a gimmicky product. When I first tried this last summer or like last spring I honestly was just like I don't even know what this product is I really don't think it's going to work but I'll give it a shot like I was definitely skeptical about it and you guys this product has changed the foundation game for me. It's a really interesting product you mix it in with your foundation and it's supposed to kind of velvetize or mattify whatever foundation you're using. So you can use it with more of a dewy finish foundation or a hydrating foundation and it kind of just turns it into more of a velvety finish. So I just haven't found anything that works as well. Elf did just release something kind of similar which I am going to try and I hope that it's a dupe because this product is kind of expensive but again it lasts for a good amount of time. So I love this product. I thought it was a gimmick but you guys it has changed the game for me when it comes to foundation. So NYX shadows are kind of like hit and miss for me. I really enjoy some of their shadows some of their palettes are my absolute favorites and then some of them are just kind of okay I haven't tried any that I absolutely hate but I feel like for the price they better be pretty high up on my list otherwise I kind of consider them a fail because a lot of their palettes are like 16 18 20 dollars so they really are more expensive than a lot of the other affordable brands out there so anyways when they came out with the ultimate multi finish shadow palettes I honestly thought it was like a marketing tactic I kind of thought it was a little bit of a fail because each palette comes with 16 shadows and I don't know about you guys but when I buy an eyeshadow palette I want all of the shadows in the palette to be different enough from each other like you want variation within the palette but these palettes are completely different they come with four colors but for example the blue shadow comes in a matte finish a shimmer finish and then also a glitter finish but it's like all the exact same shade of blue so when I first saw them I was like that's kind of a cop-out because you're paying for 16 16 shadows but you're really only getting like four shades but I tried them and you guys, they have become staples in my collection. I honestly have to like stop myself from talking about them in so many videos because I mention them all the time on my channel and I use them so often. First of all, the formula of these shadows is so high quality, but on top of that, I've really been a big fan of like a monochromatic eye look. So a lot of times with this palette, if I want a purple smoky eye, I honestly have everything that I need. The only thing that I'll kind of reach for is maybe like a lighter transition color, but I'll go in with a matte shadow in the crease, the shimmer shadow on the lid, and then the glitter shadow right on the center, and I get like the perfect quick and easy purple smoky eye. Same with green and blue. They surprised me so much because I totally thought they were like a marketing tactic. I even thought they were like a marketing fail until I tried them, and honestly, they are essentials for me. This product is the Pixi Lower Lash Mascara, and I wasn't, you know, convinced that this product in particular was a gimmick. I just thought Lower Lash Mascaras as 
a whole for like totally a marketing tactic and you know you could just use regular mascaras on your lower lashes and sometimes I do don't get me wrong but a lot of times regular mascaras that I use on my top lashes just don't cut it for my lower lashes I have very thin sparse lashes on my bottom lash line and I feel like I need a very specific formula and brush to really grab onto them and define them without making a mess and it's funny because I was talking to a bunch of you guys in the comments in one of my videos and I asked you if you used the same mascara on your upper lashes as you do your lower lashes and a ton of you guys said you do but so many of you guys said you have to use a separate mascara and I thought it was like so much fun because I can totally relate like I have to use a different mascara I have to have one that really grabs onto my lower lashes and doesn't smear defines them as volume without being too crazy if you know what I mean so I don't know you guys lower lash mascaras they might be a marketing tactic but I totally fell for it and I don't find it to be a gimmicky product anymore I find it to be something that I really enjoy and use really often so when it comes to this next product I don't know if I would say that I thought it was a gimmicky product but I was so super skeptical about it and I did not think it was going to work for me so I guess in my mind I kind of thought that they were gimmicks I don't know if a lot of people feel the same way but I feel like a lot of people are skeptical about these products and they are lash enhancing serums this one is from Grande Lash and it's available at Sephora it's cruelty free and it's my favorite because it really does work so you guys last spring I decided to try this out and honestly I was so blown away by the results of this product I think I have like a before and after floating around somewhere on my cell phone so I'll post it on the screen for you guys but I was wearing false lashes on a daily basis until I tried this product and it made my lashes grow like crazy at this point I only use it like once every two or three nights and they've maintained their length which is awesome because it is a little bit of an expensive product but I will say the grande lash is not as expensive as a lot of the other serums floating around on the internet I just wasn't sure I was completely skeptical but it works it's such a good product and I'm so glad that I finally decided to try it out because it has become an essential for me in my beauty routine okay guys that is the end of my video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video I would love to hear from you in the comments below if you had any products that you were kind of skeptical about or you thought were gimmicky products but again you tried them and you fell in love with them let me know what you guys think otherwise I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video bye